Good day everyone, this is Dude to Dude. Welcome back to my channel. And with me again is Kami. Hello again. So we are doing another 10 packs of Yu-Gi-Oh! Die Masters. Blind opening, woo. Yay! This is part five of nine, I believe is what it should work out to. Yes, that should be about right for how many. Yeah. How many we picked up yes. recently. <laughs> there are a total of 90 packs in a booster box for these older sets. Wow. Thank you. So, got another Gaia. Yep. That That's becoming very uh, frequent. Yeah. I know we've, I'm pretty sure we've pulled this one before. I just can't remember. I'm not sure. We'll see in a minute. So, as mentioned, Gaia, an uncommon one. And then Blade Knight. Common. Common. And as can easily be noted, just because it says it's common, there's also a percentage on the how common a common is, <laughs> as we've seen. Yes. i make sure I fully open that. Hmm. Looks like I got the Millennium Rod. Yes. And Goblins. Yes. So we have, yep, the Millennium Rod, uncommon, and Goblin Attack Force, common. Trash goes in the trash can. Just as an interesting note, did you ever have a um, favorite uh, story arc, essentially, for Yu-Gi-Oh! when we were watching it back in the day? Oh. Let's see here, the, um, Pegasus chapter was, I know, that's early one, was always a fun one. That's the one I remember best as well. Yeah. It, it has been some time though, so, but I also really, really liked when they actually got to, to the more Egyptian. Yes portion of the story and just yeah Pegasus was just a very fun villain yes because he was kind of villainous but he kind of was the I'm here to act as a challenge but to get you to learn <laughs> than a true I'm going to beat the crap out of you yes so I have pulled a common ring ring of magnetism and a common injection fairy lily Ah, perfect with my um, dislike of needles. <clears throat> <laughs> so, but one fun, interesting fact from Yu-Gi-Oh! The original series that I like pointing out because it's interesting. Only one character in that series was actually undefeated. And that was Taya Garden. So, Tea Garden. <laughs> she was undefeated. Hey, we have an Egyptian dragon. Slifer, the sky dragon. Woo. Uncommon. I f think this would have been a higher rarity, but no. Mm. And again, only can have one in a, your selection and a common trap hole. I'm still putting him aside. There are just trap holes all over the place. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Gophers. Man. <laughs> yep. They get everywhere. Yep. Ah. There we go. So if now Pokemon yes. had a series of these, then we could blame it on um, Diglett, but <laughs> that, that, that's not happening. Okay, so I think... That's was Baby this, Dragon. This was Baby Dragon. Yes. And then I've got a translucent one, which Ooh. I don't remember what this one was. I want to say we pulled it before, but I don't... I'm not sure. So I've got an uncommon Baby Dragon, as expected. Yes. Well, not the uncommon part, but yeah. the Baby Dragon. Harpy Lady. Ah. A common. Well, this is... A minor issue. 
This die has a bubble right there. Huh. Now this is one of the few times where I'm going, oh, this one actually is probably loaded. <laughs> so that one gets uh, set aside and hopefully we pull some different harpy ladies so we can actually play with that character. <laughs> Instead hey, of finally... going, it's cheating. <laughs> yeah. Well, technically it's not cheating because that's how it came from a pack, but yeah, that could get interesting. Well, in the sense that it would be only available to the one, whichever one of us had yeah. in our set. So let's see here. We have a baby dragon, and I am forgetting what this one symbol is. I, I know we've pulled that I know one. it's not Iron Man. He's in a different <laughs> set. So we have another uncommon baby dragon. Ah, Breaker uh, of the Magic Warrior. Common. Yes, Iron Man's in a different set. Yes. And Batman's in a different set. I oh, like having your comic book heroes fight each other. Yeah. In the non-canonical but allowed way. Yes. Because this doesn't want to come off. There we go. <clears throat> Did we pull this before this symbol? I don't recall. Uh, I and don't think so. I think. I know we've pulled this one. However, that may actually be the Black Magician. Yeah. So, I've got a common Lajin. Yes. Which we've pulled before. I have pulled Dark Magician, common, but finally yes. we ran across one of them. Yay! Been waiting for the Dark Magician. Yes. And again, only a common. Huh. I mean, I'm. You would I'm think not that complaining. Yugi, you would think that Yugi's deck mains essentially would be of higher rarity even if they're not super rare but true i believe i got a dragon and a morphing jar yes that was yep so a common red eyes black dragon and a common morphing jar <clears throat> to the side. Thank you. I have Little Karibo's, um Leather Pants song in my head. <laughs> Seriously, if you have never looked up the Little Karibo Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. Yes, that is why, the... Why does this have an 095 on it? A lot of these dies actually had their... Oh, okay, numbers on okay. Them. I just, I did not notice. But this appears to be another one of the um, Mystic Elf. Yep. And and then, I think this we this we established was um, Buster Blader. I believe so. And just to point out, so was able to grab some from um, Mightiest Heroes. These at uh, no point ever actually have the number. But Yu-Gi-Oh! was one of the first of the um, Dice Master sets. I've pulled a rare hey. mystical elf. Ooh, very nice. And then a common Buster Blader, but I am quite happy pulling a rare yes. mystical elf. Move you down. And my last pack. Yahtzee! Oh, wrong game. <laughs> so we have... Ah! A rare Doom Caliber Knight. So we did actually pull two rares. Yay! And a common Buster Blader. So, not bad. Not bad at all. So, thank you all for tuning in. For tuning in today. And hopefully I will stop... Yeah, no, I'm going to keep mangling my words. Have a good day. Mm, bye.